Hello, dear world, family, friends, all across every nation. Knowing that we're going through this time of the pandemic, where masks are a necessity. Everything that's occurring in this world isn't an accident. It's a God accident. Because we are living in some last rough times. But it'll only get worse. It's going to get good. It's going to get bad. It's going to get worse. It's going to get good again. It's going to get bad. And that's just a part of history. We don't know too many off seasons where it wasn't some bad things going on. So, what do we do? We just keep on praising it. Keep on praising it. Every day. Every day. Sometime throughout your day. He doesn't want us, you know, 24-7 at his ear unless we're doing something. When you're working, you can't always just be talking, even to the supervisor. Especially the CEO. He's not going to listen to you 24 hours a day or even 8 hours a day that you're sitting there working. So we need to get our point across to God. Ask for forgiveness, if need be. Should be. Get it off your chest. But we got to realize that what we're doing, we're not just destroying our ozone layer. We're destroying part of our kingdom. Because we get people with foolish decisions. And that becomes the worst pandemic. Because Donald Trump had spread viruses and so did uh, everybody, everybody's pretty been, much been in office has spread some kind of bad virus on the United States. Definitely other countries. But where we are right now is a time once again to be thankful. To give God some glory and honor for just waking up today. Yesterday. The day before last week, two years, 10, 20 years ago, 50 years ago, 75 years ago, 85, 90, 105, 120, somebody out there, huh? That's been waking up 120 years, huh? If you don't know nothing about being thankful, Jesus Christ, I mean, you, mm, it's a lot of time. Everybody don't live that long. <laughs> You know, some babies don't come out. So what are you thankful for? Where, where are we at in this world right now? I'm thankful for everything. Like I said, the pandemic too is evil. I got to be okay with it. It's just what it is. If we get it, we get it. We die from it, we die from it. If you get shot in the hood, just get shot in the hood. If you get robbed at a liquor store, a gas station, uh, walking down the street, and you happen to die, it just is what it is. We all got to go somehow, some way. Do you want to stop and think about really trying to say, okay, I, I just want to, most people, you know, I just want to die in my sleep. Everybody do. Just be go watch a good movie, have good little snacks, you know what I mean? And then a little sippy soda pop or some lemonade or some hot chocolate or something like that. And you go to sleep, you feel all good, and you're amen and all prayed up. And then you go to sleep and never wake up again. Heck yeah, everybody want that, right, huh? Huh? Say it, somebody. 
So we need to step away from the world. We need to understand what's going on. And I too. I need to know more. And I don't give myself 100% of knowing. Mainly because I'm still on one topic. Just pray. Ask for forgiveness. And start over. Another day. Pray. Ask for forgiveness. And go to sleep and start over again. Doesn't take a lot. And once again, it's not an all-day prayer, conversation, or anything. You can thank God for everything just because you've seen a butterfly land on a flower. You've seen a frog jump in front of you while you're walking down the street. You know, there ain't no no pond around here. just frogs all over the place. And, or seeing a reindeer. I mean, not a reindeer, you know what I mean, a deer. <laughs> seeing a reindeer, I want to see it fly. <laughs> so anyway, I just want everybody to be on a different type of mindset don't worry about the 2021 or 2031 2041 oh my god we're coming up into 2050 i want to is another type of a millennium thing millennium and a half or something what is it hmm? we gotta stop it we get so many worries and fears that it drives us crazy I have friends and family. Everybody got some kind of something going on. And the older we get, the more we get. You know, bad health, bad sight, bad teeth, bad hair, bad everything. Bad feet, bad everything. Back be all toe up, arms, elbows, you know, fingertips, everything be all messed up and hurting and all kind of, you know, like, you don't know, everything just... Just be like, and you, it's just a part of life. Part of your test, trials, and tribulation may just be a body full of pain while you're seeing somebody three times your age jumping around, swinging from stuff, dancing all over the cotton picking place, and doing all the stuff that I can still do. <laughs> Back be hurting sometimes, though. But we get these type of tests in life. So once again, are you soaking in it or are you thankful that you still woke up the next day? Marinate on the thought. Marinate on the word. Sing it with me. Thankful. Thankful. Tear clog my suggest my <laughs> suggestion <laughs> my sinuses, but I felt a a small hardening of the heart mending. I felt like my soul was being touched just to say thankful, and I probably could have sang that for about 